Welcome back to Fox 2 News at 6. Missouri voters will see two different ballot initiatives when they head to the polls tomorrow. There's Amendment 1 and Amendment 4. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley takes a closer look at the questions which focus on police funding and child care. Amendment 4 might look familiar to voters. The state's highest court saying Missourians were misled on the 2022 ballot, throwing out the election results. If approved, it would require Kansas City to increase funding to its police department. Amendment 1 comes as 94 of the state's 114 counties are in a child care desert, asking voters if they would like to give a property tax break to child care facilities. What I've heard is from parents and from child care facilities, even from employers who say this is a this is a big drag on our ability to find employees. The hope is Amendment 1 will be an incentive to open more facilities and give relief to already existing providers. You know this is number one priority. We've got the funding. Let's do what we can to help the people of this state. Amendment 1 on the ballot ask if the state's constitution should be amended to allow places where individuals, corporations, organizations, and associations provide child care outside of the child's home to be exempt from property tax. I think most people are feeling this in some form or fashion, whether it's grandkids, kids, um, relatives, um, seeing it in your own business. Giving Missourians a voice is always a good thing. Even if approved on Tuesday, there's still another step. Lawmakers would then have to come back and pass the tax exemption for providers. The financial impact of the potential lost taxes to local government is still unknown. Just below that question, voters will see Amendment 4 to increase funding for the Kansas City Police Department from 20 to 25 percent, a referendum which was overwhelmingly approved by voters in 2022 raise the minimum funding for a police department uh, that's under the governance of a board of police commissioners. But it was followed by a lawsuit from Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas over the cost, saying Missourians were told a lie when it stated there would be additional cost for state or local governmental entities. The Missouri Supreme Court siding with Lucas, saying increasing funding for Kansas City police would cost $38 million. If there's going to be some you know, liberal big city mayor that wants to defund them. I think the people of Missouri think that that's a bad idea. Lucas previously said that the Missouri Supreme Court sided with fairness to the people of Kansas City and to all Missouri voters by putting this question back on the ballot. As for Amendment 1, the two dozen House Republicans who didn't want to ask Missouri voters the child care question said they would rather see wide ranging property tax reform than picking winners and losers. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.